Hey, what's up, everybody? So we've seen other running quarterbacks come through the NFL over the past years, and I'm ready to tell you why Lamar Jackson is having success in the NFL. So before we get into the video, I just want to say, if you're new to the channel, thanks for giving me a chance. If you like the video and you like the content, make sure you click the subscribe button at the end. I got everything from football and basketball. This is the channel you need to be at, so make sure you click the button. Now let's actually get into the video. So before the 2018 NFL Draft, many people felt that Lamar Jackson wouldn't last in the NFL due to him being a mobile dependent quarterback. I can't even say mobile because they felt like he just could not throw the ball, so they thought he was just a scrambling quarterback. There were many people that believed he wasn't even a quarterback, and they advised him to convert to wide receiver or running back, which was pretty much disrespectful because at that point, they're basically saying he was going to fail like quarterback in the NFL. So despite the critics, the Ravens still took a chance on Lamar Jackson at the end of the first round, and Lamar Jackson was a little bit upset. But he said he has no regrets on how he played in college and that he's going to give his all to the Ravens, even a Super Bowl. So after receiving the starting spot mid-season in 2018, Lamar has been proven to the critics that he can have success in the NFL. He's currently 12-3 as a starter, a regular season starter, and is looking to make his second playoff appearance this season with a current 6-2 record. The reason why Lamar Jackson has success in the NFL so far is because the Ravens are giving him a real chance. A lot of teams pick quarterbacks similar to Lamar Jackson, and they try to tame them. They want them to only stay in the pocket, and they expect them to be Tom Brady within the first two seasons, which just isn't realistic. Teams that do this are wasting the draft pick because they are setting their players up to fail rather than succeed. Teams forget that at the end of the day, this is a quarterback. He may not be as polished as you need him to be in the passing game, but he still has throwing abilities. It's your job to bring him in, develop him, work on his flaw so he can reach his potential. This is where the Ravens are winning. The Ravens have accepted Lamar Jackson's strengths and are willing to help improve his passing mechanics over time. Instead of being stubborn and forcing Lamar Jackson to run the same offense they had Joe Flacco running, they have rebuilt their offense to Lamar's abilities. The Ravens aren't asking Lamar Jackson to be Tom Brady. They're not asking him to be a gunslinger. All they do is ask him to go out there and play football. They run pistol offense. Um, they, they run um, read options. They run short routes, short passes, medium passes. They're not asking him to go deep as much or make a lot of elite plays in the passing game. So this allows Lamar Jackson's game to naturally flow. They have also invested in proper weapons to complement Lamar Jackson on offense, such as the Willie Sneeds, um, even though they had him last year, I think. Um, Hollywood Brown, they actually added a real running back, Mark Ingram, and they drafted one as well. They have added weapons. They even got good tight ends in Mark Andrews and Hayden Hurst. And in result, Lamar has been dominating the league this season. Lamar has thrown for 1,813 yards, 12 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. He's throwing a 64% completion rate. And that's not bad for a quarterback considering his flaws. And it's only how many um, games in? 8 games in for Lamar Jackson. But when you look at the running game, he's ran the ball only 99 times for 637 yards, 5 touchdowns, zero turnovers despite fumbling three times when it comes to getting first downs on his feet he's eighth in that when it comes to rushing yards he's 11 and he's only a quarterback and to even add on to that the person ahead of him by only seven yards has 164 attempts which is derrick henry which is kind of sad because lamar's a quarterback with 65 um, less attempts then Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry get that load every week, man. So Lamar Jackson, he's showing that he's elite and he should rush for a thousand yards this year. You feel me? So with that being said, I have seen Lamar Jackson struggle with the Browns, the Chiefs, and the Steelers, but I feel like the reason why he was struggling is because he was trying to prove to critics that he can throw the ball, that he is a quarterback. And now as the season has went on, he said, you know what? Look, Enough of the trying to prove the critics wrong and all this shenanigans. Fuck them. I'm going to go out here and do what I need to do 
to win my team football games, rather that's throwing the ball, running the ball, or both. And he has been doing a good job at that. And teams have not really had an answer for Lamar Jackson, not even the Patriots. When he beat the Patriots, he earned my full respect. I like Lamar Jackson anyway, but he earned my full respect, man. Now, if the Ravens want Lamar Jackson to have long-term success, they have to keep letting Lamar Jackson be Lamar Jackson. Do not try to turn him into a pocket passer because that's just not who he is. And his running abilities is what make him different and unique and dangerous. Also, on top of that, they have to keep, you know, throwing a little bit at him at a time. Keep developing him in offseason. Keep working on his passing game because if the passing game develops, he can be even more dangerous than Russell Wilson simply because of his elite running game. Then on top of that, they have to keep adding weapons on offense. Also, keep adding weapons on defense to complement the offense. And they can get a Super Bowl out of Lamar Jackson. But if Lamar Jackson wants to make it that far, he has to stay healthy. He has done a good job at avoiding injuries. And, you know, he is taking on contact, but he's not getting blasted like RG3 was, who was his teammate. And it's ironic that he's his teammate because everybody knows RG3 was a top quarterback in his draft class as well. He got drafted by the Redskins. He had some early success his first year and a half. His first year, he made it to the playoffs. He had a good, well, decent record with the Redskins, and he was rookie of the year. He ended up facing injuries. He couldn't, he, you know, he wasn't sliding. He was taking contact. And before you know it, the Redskins was trying to turn him into Tom Brady, a pocket passer. It just did not work. They cut him. He came to the Bronx. We tried to do the same thing. It didn't work. We cut him. He kept dealing with injuries. Now he's a backup. You feel me? So if Lamar Jackson wants to have long-term success, he has to stay healthy or else Teams will try to turn him into a pocket passer because they don't want him to get hurt. And that is just not where Lamar Jackson is as a quarterback right now. So, those, well, this is it where we're at with Lamar Jackson. And if Lamar Jackson keeps playing like this, I think he could be a serious MVP candidate. Like, he already is an MVP candidate, but I think he can get the, you know, the edge over Russell Wilson because his team is 6 and 2. And no team has an answer for him right now. You feel me? So, Let's let the season finish out and let me know everything y'all think about these, um, not even the Ravens. Let me know what y'all think about Lamar Jackson. Like, comment, subscribe. I got more content coming soon.